Oh, it's it's recording. Did you press record? No. Oh, I did. They rebooted. No, it's fine. It's on. Okay, so. No, you can edit it. Yeah. So this month's subscription box from Snack Crate. Italy. <laughs> Italy. What's that other thing say in there? Oh, just Snack Crate. Just Snack Crate. Okay. Ooh, chips. Ooh. Looks like chips. Ooh, it looks I gotta good. I need my glasses already. I'm starting already. Oh. Okay, so this is the second uh, snack crate I've got from my year-long subscription. This one I just got yes Friday, which was the 19th of May, and this is um, April's box, so it's only a month late. Hopefully next month we'll be on time. Did you lose your glasses? Yep, they're in the car. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the car. You need your teeth to eat. Okay. Actually, do you have your phone, right? So what I noticed last time is that there's a there's a QR code, so I think that might actually tell us what is in the box this time. How do you do the QR thing? Put your camera. Okay. You want my camera to take a picture? So you're gonna have to read that to you. You wanna go get your glasses? You should get your glasses. Okay. Don't worry, I'll just wait for you. Yeah. It's gonna tell us our snacks. What? <laughs> Where are you going with the phone? Yeah, read it while I'm going to get my glasses. Oh, well, we should read it for the Wow, this way here, there's words that are really hard at my phone. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, you can read it. Okay, so we have some more glasses. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, tell me, tell me. Ooh, these look, I don't know what they are, but this. I think this, I think it's going to get a higher mark than the last one. Okay. okay ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, this box looks really, really, really good. Did you, hey, where's the phone? Where's Remember it? I told you Italy? Oh, uh, yeah. I probably shut it off. Hang on. I got to take a picture of that thing again. Yeah. Down the cold. Here, do you want me to read it? I'll it Learn about Italy. Let's learn about Italy. Italian snacks. Right to your doorstep. That's right. Country of the month is Italy. Within your crate, you'll find enough snacks to fill up the uh, Coliseum. Your turn. Blah, blah, blah. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> 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 there, well. uh, okay. Italy shares borders with six countries. Can you guess any of them? Uh, Greece? Nope. <laughs> Greece is way over there. Eh? It's on the Mediterranean. I that's think they're like looking at each other uh, across the ocean. Okay, <laughs> let's go with... Uh, Come on, there's six of them. France? Yeah. France. Uh... Okay, I'll, I'll read the rest. <laughs> <laughs> San Mar Marino, Austria, Switzerland, Slovenia, and Vatican City, in addition to France. I thought Vatican City, oh, is that Rome? Okay. No, in Rome the small town. Italy. What did you just say? Is it Rome in Italy? I don't know. <laughs> okay. In this small town of Caldari di, to di Ortona, a free wine fountain flows 24 hours a day. Free wine? A free wine fountain. Oh, the boys downtown would love that. Oh, you know, that's probably why they, they don't have a drinking problem there, really. No, because they could just sit by the fountain all day. Well, I think it's also it's part of their culture. Like, like kids can drink yeah, a glass of wine at, at dinner. dinner. Yeah, but it's not, like, kids. crazy. You drink it, like, at dinner. It's yeah. not like, we're going to go get fucked up. We got into some Italian wine stories <laughs> in the day, I'll tell you. You mean John and Gallows? Okay, shh, you're naming people now. <laughs> Three active volcanoes are located in Europe, and all three reside in Italy. I didn't know that. Which, what are the names of the volcanoes? They don't say. Italia is the, Italia. <laughs> Italy is the first most visited, or fifth most visited country in the world. Approximately 65 million people visit each year. Wait, do you want to try chips first? I don't care. Let me try them all. 
It says, embrace the spice and everything nice by snacking on these irresistible paprika chips. Okay, yeah, they're salty chips. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're paprika. They're hot? Are we gonna need no, water? No, I don't think they're hot. I can't smell not the one that's in the nose anyway. It's like a little one kid. <laughs> You got something going on over on that side. Okay, let's do this guy. I don't like barbecue. Barbecue chips, yeah. But. Mmm. They're good. Why are you trying that? Mmm. What are you doing? Out of five or out of ten? I would give these a seven. A 7.8. 7.5. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd give them an 8.5. Yeah, they're really good. These are delicious. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up for these. These are so good. I wish I had a big bag of these. I you wish I knew how to pronounce the name properly. More chips? Fonzies, they're called. Ooh. The Fonz, hey. Bunsies. Snack the Italian way by enjoying these savory cheese and corn pretzel chips. What? It's that French or Italian? Mm -hmm. Maze? They, yeah, maize. They say the same in French as they do in Italian? Yeah, I guess so. But I don't think you've pronounced the X. What do you got going on back here? Nutritional facts? Who cares? <laughs> yeah, really. I never read a bag in my life. <laughs> it's not gonna, it's not gonna start now. <laughs> oh, they look like those. Uh, what's the color? Cheesy. Ooh, these look good. You know I like them because I'm gonna you know, like them because they look They look like the melt in your mouth ones. The twist. Twist. Yeah. I think those are um. Canadian snacks, so Americans won't know what that is. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm being an idiot. Oh, they're good. Yeah, I like these ones. Mmm. Italy. Mm. Two products, two thumbs up. Oh my god, Italy. two for two. I would buy this. I want this. Don't pull in Japan on us now. <laughs> these are so good. Take them over there. I'll eat those later. Stop being so grabby with the chips. You're so like. They're coveted to you, aren't they? Well, they're good. Mm. I don't want you sitting there eating them all. What do you got going this time? This is Crocentale Pizza. Unwrap deliciousness by toasting, tasting these pizza flavored focaccia bites. Okay, it's always a toss up when you're making some kind of a pizza snack. Can I open one of them? Yeah. Actually, no, it's okay. You'll have a thumb issue in the future and I'll help you with it. A what? Thumb issue. <laughs> yeah, it's starting already. <laughs> I got the one rip in there, but the old thumb's not really. God, I gotta hold it together. Squish them apart. Give me that. I can smell it already. Pizza. Here, let me open it. You're gonna squish them. I can smell the pizzas already. In there. I want to smell. They're like uh, those little Ritz peanut butter things. <laughs> About the same size of them. Oh yeah, we can show. It looks good. good. Looks good. It smells good. What kind of pizza do we got in here? Mm. Kind of the texture of those little uh, fish things. A little harder, but yeah. Goldfish? Goldfish, yeah. Mm. But they're harder. Got a little pizza taste to it. Did we give that other one a number? Oh. I give that 10 one, out of 10. I give that one an 8.5. I don't give anybody a 10 out of 10. So you get a 9.9. .9. Well then, so is it not achievable? What? I would eat this as a snack any time, any day. Yeah, me too. It's not a 10 out of a 10 snack? I'd eat this too. And I give this one an 8.5. Hey, <laughs> you told me to get away from them. <laughs> I just don't really like pieces for snacks. Know what I mean? <laughs> Why are you taking so many? You're so full of shit. <laughs> All right. Those ones are good. Uh -huh. Okay. 
they pronounce it, Stick? Blondo snack cakes. Packed by eight decades of experience, these cacao filled snacks take the cake for taste and flavor. Ooh, it's a sweet one. I want to pause before we eat these. Why? Because we need to put some water in there after eating all those other things. Hey. Oh, let's let's try the drink then. Oh, the same thing happened. There was a drink in the other one and oh. we liked it. <laughs> this one just looks like regular. <laughs> the little red cup again. <laughs> the taste tester cup. Wait, we should. What is it called? Um, Molco Cola. Mo. It's a volcano. Mo Cola. Cola. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Mo Cola. Mouse Cola. Are you busy? Oh yeah, this looks like regular, but I think it's, it's like, like gonna Coke. be Coke. Coke or Pepsi? Probably Coke. Oh yeah, I could drink that. This is like... Goes good with pizza. <laughs> <laughs> hey, drink this and eat those pizza chips. Oh, this is good, Gomer. Yes, please. You know what? It probably has less artificial it shit. It seems better than Coke. Yeah, because I think they have like better standards in it Europe for like it seems, snacks. It seems like it tastes better than Coke. It's better honestly. than Canadian Coke, yeah. It's a little better, I think, yeah. Yeah. And it's not I'll even give like, that one a 10 now. This is not even like freezing cold and it's still refreshing. Yeah, I'll give that one a 10. For now, anyways. Mm -hmm. You never know, our taste buds might fall out later. <laughs> okay, now that we uh, washed out the chip flavor and texture, we got oh, on in there. this looks good. Oh, it looks got chocolate on it, anyways. Kind of sprinkle I'm gonna cut on it with a knife. Chocolate and some kind of sprinkle. Oh, it looks like some kind of a loaf. It does kind of look like a loaf of bread with chocolate. Yeah, it's on some it. kind of a loaf. But let's look. Oh, there's stuff in oh, it there's, too. There's some kind of fruit or jelly, chocolate, jelly, or jelly or fruit or something like that in there. And, it, I guess it's icing sugar sprinkles on top. Yeah, this is looks good. It's okay. I don't think I like the middle part. Of it's not great, but it's not terrible. The chocolate really uh, helped it a lot. I don't six think I like that. You're saying six and a half? Yeah. Six, I'll give it, I'll go six. six and a half to, to a six. I'll go six. Somewhere in there. It's not bad though. Like I said, the middle part, not that great, but the chocolate and the, and the bready part, pretty good. What do you got there? Oh, Beo Cusini. Which one? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Oh, there, there it is. is. Ooh, shortbread, shortbread cookies. cookies. Made with 100% Italian cocoa and hazelnuts. <laughs> there you go. Shout hazelnuts. out to hazelnuts. Shout out to hazelnuts. Thanks for supper. Thanks, Hazel. It was delicious. And thanks for the plants. And they're planted. And they're all planted. Um. Short bag cookies are authentically delicious. Usually they are. We'll see. We'll let you know. I'm excited. These are going to be good. That's what those other ones from the other one. Remember with the, the red in the middle and instead what was in that one? Blueberry. Yeah, that's what it was, shortbread. I couldn't remember the name of the cookie. Okay, I'm gonna crunch it open here to have a look here. Looks like chocolate inside here. Oh, okay. Kind of like... Oreo? Kind of, well, I don't know, there's chocolate. I don't see any white chocolate. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What's it say on there, the name of it? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Mmm. Well, I'll give you another thumbs up, Ailey. These oh cookies my are God. great. <laughs> Those are so good. There's only one left. One what? Of those cookies left. No. We better eat more. Okay. Ooh. Where are we going now? Apricot tartlets. 
tart. Mm. I know that some people pronounce it apricot, but we're apricot here. Giovanni, Cova, and company. The perfect snack for those on the go, these individually wrapped tartlets are filled with sweet apricot jam. Apricot jam. Mm. Pretty good. Good. Can't wait to sink my teeth into it. Hope it's not too chewy. Mm -mm. Mm. No, I don't like the taste of it for some reason. That slurry or whatever that stuff is you put there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? When you're cooking those leaves. Remember, you didn't like them? Cooking those leaves? You didn't cook with them, you put, put them on stuff. Cilantro? <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> that Solario? One. <laughs> yeah, that stuff. <laughs> you think that tastes like cilantro? A little bit. He's got the soap thing though. I don't like it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. The texture and everything was good, but yeah. <laughs> I gotta drink some of the delicious pop. Like, hey, just be honest. <laughs> it's funny. Is there I a possibility I... that there's that they have that in there? There's, there's no cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. It tastes like it just chewed into a bar of soap, but not right away. <laughs> um, there is like a weird essence to it. I think it's a well-made treat, but it's just not. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Italy, <laughs> Italy, sorry, but this one here, you're losing me on that one. I'm just gonna check. I'll give it a three. I can't even give it a three. There is no one. Uh, I don't think I'd ever buy one. <laughs> there is no cilantro in it, Dad. Well, it's got a funny taste to it. Well, does it taste more like that stuff you were. Scenario, yeah. <laughs> cilantro. Okay. Okay, cilantro. Really good one here. This one might look a little better. Looks like a baby cookie. Tortina original. Is that too shiny from the light or what? It might be. Well, loader Tortina dark. Crispy wafers coated in rich dark chocolate and filled with a oh, smooth good. hazelnut Might as well cut this in half or I know we're gonna like this one. It's got chocolate on it. Ooh. A big round chocolate uh, cookie? junk. I think it's a cookie underneath. Well, I wouldn't cut it in half. You want the whole thing? Well, I thought you'd take half, I'd take half. Okay, what do you... This is like a, I think a it's wafer, wafer. wafer cookie. It said wafer too. <laughs> It's not a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you say wait for when you were reading, I didn't even hear you reading. Mm. I like it. But it's a little bit dry. It's a strong chocolate, eh? Yeah, it's made with real cacao. Yeah, you pick the next one. Ooh, this is the same company. Same brand. Same company, I think, makes these. Okay, that one's called Loader Milk Chocolate, or Loker Milk Chocolate. More hazelnuts. Made with fresh ingredients, Loker combines delicious chocolate and creamy alpine milk in this tasty bar. Oh, there's where the thumbs might come in. Okay, I got to buy the paper. <clears throat> oh. oh, a Kit Kat. Actually, yeah, it does look like a Kit Kat. That's what it looks like on this side. Oh no. Ooh, and it's pre broken. Show them. Show the meat. <laughs> Take my nose off. Take my nose off, why don't you? Here. That looks like one of those Cadbury things, Here. eh? There, there's two here. Take these. What if you don't like it? Oh, I'm going to like that. Mmm. 
crunchy inside. Ooh. That was just surprise. Good though. Yeah, I like it. This tastes like similar to something. Oh shit, we haven't been ready to go. This one, the one that Dano, what did you say? Two? Wow, well, food's being generous. I don't like the taste of it. So a zero? No. It had good texture. We'll give it that. Yeah, we'll give it a two. I'm going to give it a... You'll probably go higher. I'll give it a higher. four because it was, it's well made, and, but it's just the taste wasn't good. What about the cookie? This one. No, I'm going to bump it up there. A hundred? You think so? Oh, yeah. This one, this one here is even better. Yeah, I know. This one's got to be like... This one here is an eight and a half, and I'll this give one that here one. is a nine. I'll give the first one a seven, and then this one... I'll give this one... Mm. But... I'll I'll give it actually, a nine. actually got pieces of hazelnut inside of it, eh? It's, um... It's a nine. It's really good. Yeah, it is really good. Mmm. Looks like another wafer kind. Same, Same freaking brand. Ooh, looks like Nanaimo bars. These guys here, what is it? Loker? Might not be pronouncing it right, but Loker, the last two that we did, this will be the third one in a row. The oh. other two got good, good reviews. Cacao milk and milk wafers. These scrumptious chocolate wafers are filled with creamy milk filling. Milk filling? Oh, and they're plus, they're, they already got cracks in them, too. Oh, those are like those, what are those things called? Those wafer things. Yeah, we have something similar to this. In the Canada, red ones, eh? In Canada. Yeah, they come in like red and... Um, and brown, yeah. Yeah, and uh, white. What are they called, the ones here? Wafers. What were the names of them? Mmm. Mmm. I used like the red ones. Mm. This is good. Very good. I'm gonna say nine. Yeah, I'll give it a nine too. Okay. Trunky. Is this, the, is this the same company? It's the same type of packaging. I don't think so. Right? Ferrero. Like Ferrero Rocher. Oh, this one looks pretty cool. Should we show the? It's rolled up like. It's rolled up like a log in there. Ferrero Hazelnut. Crave the crunch and dive into blissful hazelnut oh. cream in this divine Italian snack. <coughs> Not That's a... like a huge ingredient, hey? Hazel? Hazelnut? Wow. <laughs> Those Italians, they know a good thing, hazelnuts. <laughs> <laughs> These are good. This looks good, too. Oh, it's not already open on the end. It's got to be open. Ooh, it looks weird. Oh, it looks like a log. Oh, it is a log. It even has... Embroidered. I don't know if the camera can see that. Sorry, my nails are dirty because we were in the garden. It's chocolate. That's what the end of it looks like. Looks like a log. I like that. I like that. Good texture. Oh, yeah. You did it again. Seven and a half for me. I'll give it a six. Six? Mm -hmm. Seven and a half? Yeah. Might be because we've eaten a lot of different hazelnuts here. Oh, good. I'm over it. Right. Could be. Well, Let's try this one. Oh, really? This looks good. Save the chewy ones for later, huh? Hannah Fregola. Tornado. Fini Tornado. I hope it's not hot. <laughs> I hope it is. Fini Tornado? Strawberry tornado, calling it all gummy lovers. Mm. Take one taste of these strawberry tornadoes and you'll be blown away. Yeah, it's probably pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of like a licorice type thing. Oh, it smells good. That's liquid. Mm. It breaks down pretty quick, faster than licorice. Okay. Good. This is like candy candy. 
I'll give it a six and a half. I'll give it a six. Okay, we got two left. We got one that looks like a chocolate bar, <clears throat> and another thing that looks like it's got wafer stuff in it. We'll go with the wafers and peanuts, but probably more Ooh, hazel. Oh, okay. this is rice. Rice cracker. The rice cracker. What did I say it? Grisby? Grisby. Con Rico something or other. Looks pretty good. Grisby rice wafers. These chocolate coated wafers will make your mouth water and your taste buds leap for joy. Make your mouth water. Yeah. You need some water after this one. Ooh. It's chunky. It looks like those are, those are probably peanuts. Yeah. Textured. Kind of peanuts on there? Rice, whatever. It doesn't say what kind of nuts. Maybe mm, they're not even nuts. Maybe it's just chocolate. I might have eaten too much chocolate today. You over it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try and give you an honest opinion on it. You know, second. It is good. I'm just, <clears throat> we, they gave us like five different wafers, so now we're like, just, it's kind of like wafer overload. It's good though. This is good. I'm mm -hmm. just, I just don't want to see another wafer for like a long time. Yeah, me too. I think the chocolate was what got us excited. The chocolate does taste delicious. The mm -hmm. wafer was really good. It mm -hmm. wasn't too hard. It wasn't like weird. But probably if I had that one the first before the other ones, I would have given that a high ranking. So I gotta give it a. That's good to notice. I gotta give it a 7.5 because if I would have had that off the start. I think it's an 8. You could be an 8, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fair. I think that's fair. I'll go with 7 and a half for that. Our last one, the Duplo. Where did it go? <laughs> Where did it go right in front of you? Open your it's like me eye. looking for the steel head. Duplo. Divine milk chocolate and creamy hazelnut meet this legendary meat in this legendary Italian snack. Why can't I talk? Look at this, it's got a little handle on the side, this one. That's better. <laughs> you don't have to. For all of you with only one good thumb. You just pull on her and she opens, that's better. At least it's got a better way to open it. Like I spent half the day trying to. Ooh, what are these show little that. bumps? Show that, that's cool. What, these are each, are hazelnuts inside of there. I don't know about that. It's a three-titted hazelnuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. It's a uh, total recall all over again. Okay, there, now it's down to two. I think it'll be good. Mm. It's good. Mm. There's a nut in the middle? There is a nut in the middle. That whole thing wasn't a nut though. It was like kind of like a creamy center with a nut in the middle. At first I thought it was just an air pocket until I hit the nut. It wasn't an air pocket, there was like creamy. Well, why is it chocolate all the way in? Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> There's no air in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, Give that one a nine. That candy? Mm-hmm. That is good. It has a real nut in the middle. It was really good. Okay. So, what do you think overall, really, for the whole thing? <clears throat> got a lot to They're so good. Lot to It'll say. be... All the chocolate ones were good. I think all of the other ones were good. There were There was a lot of wafer stuff in there. A lot of hazelnuts, but it's blended together good. Almost everything was was at least around an eight, except for the one. My least favorite actually was not the apricot one. It was this one. The bread, the loaf one. I didn't. It's a six. Oh, actually, I I, I gave it a six. I'll say a five. Okay, this this is the one that got second, You're getting... got second place. We had second place and. That loaf, loaf thing? Yeah. Is last for you? I don't like the loaf. I'll switch it. 
What was the? I liked the texture. I'll go with the I, apricot, not apricot the thing last, and then the loaf gets. But all the other stuff was like an eat. Top three. Top three. What are your top three? Mm, this I mean, that definitely. That that last chocolate that I ate with the nut in there. Okay. It's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna That's be one the of them. Okay, That's gonna be one one. of them. Uh, oh, these cookies were the bomb. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. I like the cookies. This was my favorite. So I'll go with uh, this. This. No, you like the chips. Those are, those are the pizza ones. No, I like these chips. Yeah. I gotta finish them off right now. You can finish those off. Well, we can share. You try some of these ones. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's what they're called. Twist. That's what we're calling them. They're called Fonzie. Okay. Those are the melt in your mouth twist things. They get the high up there, right? I gave them a 10. And? 10 out of 10. So those are your top two? Definitely. What about the chocolate? All the different chocolates we tried. Rice. Somebody messaging her. Crispy one. What? There's a fire by my house. You better check on. Um... Look at right beside the house. Shit. Go back to that picture. Is that out beside yours? I think so. Yo, you're. Italy. Good snacks. You got good snacks. I'm really happy about this. What was the, what was your? Eight overall. For the whole box? For everything, yeah. Yeah, that's, that smells just like this. That's crazy. Nine out of nine, or nine out of 10 for this one. Nine out of 10? That's upside down. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> good. Italy's pretty good. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're gonna end the video now because my dad's neighbor's house is on fire. So, right beside my house. I know. Bye. <clears throat>